Greetings, everyone. Welcome to the Obelisk Lounge. Um, back with um, another quick Diddy reading um, in relation to the missing little girl in San Antonio um, named Ava Baldwin. I can't recall which year she went missing, but there's a YouTuber that I got this information from, BJ Investigates. Um, her other channel is also called this uh that surprise witness or the surprise witness tv i really like her content i've been watching her for the past few years and so the gist of it let me just give y'all a quick rundown so basically there's a girl in a little girl in san antonio they went missing if i, I want to say maybe when she was um actually i don't i don't even know i don't know if she went missing when she was six months or if she was six years old i can't remember um what bj said in the video but basically the little girl went missing this is probably maybe like 2016 um somewhere up in there maybe maybe a little bit uh before then but um but she went missing and she is still currently missing but during the pandemic diddy popped up with this adopted little girl and she was calling herself ava baroni but diddy called her ava baroni like the last names were you know like were swapped um, and it's not the same last name of the little girl, Ava Baldwin, that is still currently missing in San Antonio, Texas. It's been missing for like the past few years. Um, but yeah, but during the pandemic, you know, they, um, they, as in Diddy and his kids did a video, uh, supposedly fundraising for, uh, the hospital staff during the pandemic and different things like that, trying to fundraise and things like that for them. And so they were all, you know, online introducing themselves and different things like that. And Diddy talking about, you know, he adopted this little girl, you know, and different things. We like, where does little girl come from? You know what I'm saying? It was a few different kids in that video that BJ posted. So go watch her video. It's a few different kids in that video that BJ posted. Um, maybe it wasn't a few don't give me the line maybe it was just like maybe one or two you know what i'm saying um that we were like where these kids come from you know what i'm saying we don't know nothing about we ain't know that he had these these kids right here all, all i know about all the only kids i knew about growing up were the twins um and the two older boy uh the, the two older boys and then um i'll be sure son that he adopted or whatever um that's it he did the mother two smaller ones and then this new baby that he didn't have um within the last two years or so that's it i ain't know about the mother kids but um but yeah so basically i'm just gonna do a quick yes or no if that is the same little girl um that it is that he adopted so let's see all the instances are um is the missing girl is the girl that's missing in san antonio texas named ava baldwin is um is that the same girl little girl that diddy adopted the white girl named um ava baroni or that or that's going by ava baroni or are they the same people are those are they the same people two of hearts three of clubs and then the four two three and four wow 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 i know y'all don't know what that means so let me just go ahead and spit it out wow uh in short oh my goodness oh my wait a minute y'all hold on i was not first of all i didn't have any expectations because i'm i i, I don't know i didn't know what to believe i didn't know if, you know if that's her or that's not but y'all that's oh this is freaking me out that's her y'all y'all I don't care what anybody may try to refute. That's her. I don't care if they try to come out and say, oh, the timelines is off. Oh, no, she would have been this age. Oh, no, she would have been that age. Or, oh, no, like that ain't her. I don't care if they maybe get somebody and may like she was found, you know, you know, or, or, or get someone to say that, you know, that actually, you know, she uh, uh, she wasn't found alive, but she was very y'all. That's her. I don't care what P 
people come out and say what the media may come out and say about this or what that's her that what oh wait a minute y'all wait um i was not this is some freaky shit i was not oh wait a minute hold on y'all hold on give me a moment to collect myself Whew. and purify my channel so that i can what y'all i y'all can't see me but i am really freaked out and i'm and i'm shaking a little bit because whoa y'all that's her okay let me get the story thank you um thank you family for revealing that to me how did this come about how did he get her so i'm seeing that this was something that was initiated before she was even born this gonna sound really weird okay i'm not a conspiracy theorist however i have a very open mind because i know that sometimes the truth is stranger than fiction i mean look at me i'm a whole spiritualist you know what I'm saying? Um, people would probably think that, you know, that I'm crazy for talking to spirits. You know what I'm saying? And communing, you know, with um, with deities and different things like that. You know, but so I have a very open mind because the truth is the truth. A lot of times is stranger than fiction, y'all. And that is that little girl. This was something that was initiated before she even got here. I'm seeing the mom being about nine between six and nine months pregnant no not six seven she was seven to nine months pregnant when i feel like she was oh my god this is some creep oh it's 333 on my clock this is confirmation i'm so sorry to be reacting this way but y'all this is some weird and freaky shit like this is some evil shit this is evil what the hell so she was approached so the mom is what i'm so she is um she's a drug addict yeah she's a drug addict it's like she's somebody that she yeah she abused drugs that's what i'm seeing and i'm seeing that um that there's like this network of people that often approach people that have substance abuse issues um there's like a network or some type of organization that uh oh god this is so deep and dark goodness a piece but i'm gonna just go ahead and just spit it out Y'all may have listened to this on 1.5 speed. I talk fast anyway. So willfully you pick it up. But okay, Justice, settle, settle, spirit, settle. Okay, so the mom was approached between seven and nine months pregnant um, from, uh, from this organization uh, that picks up people that are known as like or looked at it as outsiders so people that come from um people that don't have a lot of family people that don't have friends people that abuse drugs um and alcohol uh the uh like the outsiders like those type of people who are like on the outskirts of society by way of some type of traumatic thing their drug abuse they don't have family those different things and she was approached by these people um for payment for her child and what I'm seeing is she agreed to it, but when she, before the baby was, before her baby was born, but then, you know, with her being a displaced person, you know, she was, you know, all over the place. Like, you know, she was, um, she, you know, she was in this state, you know, she was in that state, she was in that state. So they really couldn't keep up with her like that. However, I feel like that there's some type of implant in her, um, some type of tracking device implant. I know this is going to sound super weird, but I'm just going to go ahead and just say it anyway. There's some type of um, tracking device implant or something like that in her so that they could kind of keep up with her location, but she was always on the go. And so once the baby was born, you know, she changed her mind, um, yeah, she changed her mind once her baby was born and was just like kind of on the run with her. I'm seeing like for a few years, you know, uh, until they finally, you know, caught up with her. 
and um and she begrudgingly you know gave her over to whatever this organization is this particular organization is where i see a lot of people with money and a lot of people with power people that we know people that we don't know i don't know the name of this organization um it looks like it's some type of uh, greek lettered organization um not like the greek letters from college but like some other like other uh organization where you know they just pick people up like they experiment on them they'll get I, I see them um recruiting uh uh pregnant women with this organization um with the intentions of like selling these kids using these kids for this is gonna sound really crazy but using these kids for rituals and different things um different sacrifices and stuff like that i see them doing like really dark and like heinous and crazy stuff i also see with this organization um a lot of celebrities uh and people in power adopting kids through this particular agency they um they posit themselves as like an adoption agency they posit themselves as like some type of abortion clinic as well they posit themselves as um as a rehab and recovery center like it's an organization that has like these different branches where they recruit different people um for different things is what it is that i'm seeing wow y'all i'm still stunned that that's her i would i did not go into this reading with with really no type of preconceived notion i didn't I, I thought maybe she she it wasn't gonna be her you know what i'm saying but i but that's her look at that card they do this in plain sight i'm hearing it's like a sister it's like whatever company or whatever um shell organization that owns planned parenthood whatever shell organization is in charge of um the march of dimes i think they changed the name but that's in charge of that organization i'm even seeing um saint jude like whatever organization that like different children's children hospitals whatever organization is in charge of those places that's where this that's that's those are the people that do the recruiting and they have all these different branch offs like this organization owns or in charge or, or, or is in charge of you know the march of dimes i'm seeing saint jude um and then what was uh, planned parenthood like all the even the red cross i'm seeing too yeah that organization do y'all see this call yeah 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 i don't even know where to even f and go with this reading hold on wait a minute because i'm just stunned i'm just stunned so now we got to see what were his intentions with adopting her specifically because let me say this too i'm not feeling like that she was pre-sold to diddy or anything like that she was just pre-sold to this organization to this shell company of these different um uh or, or to, to these different companies you know what i'm saying and other smaller organizations uh that i listed earlier wait a minute hold on i what this is some crazy this is crazy what y'all go ahead and put your questions in the comment section because i don't even know what all to even ask it's just like there's so much let me ask this before i close out the reading so what are so what were diddy's intentions with getting with adopting this little girl what were his intentions with doing that five four I heard, what do you think? What do you think? As if you already know the answer.
So I am hearing that he has the intentions or had the intentions of grooming her as like um as like a as, as like a child star. Yeah, nine of hearts, king of spades, and the ace of heart and, and the eight of hearts. Um he wants he he had the intentions of grooming her to become like a child star, like um like a really big pop star, like a really big singer. Like he thinking like she like he wants her to become the next Ariana Grande. But I'm also not seeing that she has that type of talent to become that um uh to become that type of status. And so they have kind of put it on hold. Or put her on hold in regards to this situation. I'm not seeing sex trafficking directly come up. So I can't put that part right there on them in regards to this, you know, in regards to this little girl. Because I'm not seeing it come up directly but more so, but but um but i am seeing like him like him wanting to groom her you know into becoming um this pop star and different things like that like having his own personal workhorse like a britney spears you know what i'm saying having that type of longevity and control over her in that regard and it's almost like but it's like where is she though i feel like she she doesn't even like live with him or or, some, or or anything like that anymore because again like she doesn't have um that talent different that talent factor like you know like an ariana grande and different things but he's like we can create it so like i see her so like i see him putting her in, in you know like singing lessons you know and and dance lessons and different things like that but um but that but he's also kind of like thrown her away too, like thrown her like to the wayside. And she's actually underneath the care and supervision of someone else. Some woman. I'm trying to figure out, is this woman in his family? Is this, um, is this a business associate or colleague? She's underneath the care and supervision of a woman that's in relation to the organization. Like this woman has some, like, I don't know if she's like a, a social worker. She's putting me in the mind and the energy of like a social worker or some type of case manager um, in this regard. So where is she now? Where, it, let me ask, let me see. Oh, the answer is where is Ava now? This uh, Diddy's adopted daughter, where is she now? They have her in hiding. I feel like we may see her make some type of a um, appearance. Like she's hiding in plain sight, though. Uh, four. Where is she now? Three, two. Yeah, like, where is she now? Getting groomed by the talent agency. And I say groomed, but yeah, yeah, being groomed, being trained by the talent agency. But she has developed some type of um, disorder, though. I feel like she might have developed, like, some type of schizoaffective disorder or some type of bipolar disorder so they're having a hard time working with her because she is not she's not there mentally or she's in and out so we not going we not going to see her come out unless they yeah we yeah She's in a facility. She's in a she's in a mental facility. Getting tr treatment. Yeah. That's where she is. That's where the lady. Yeah, 9 of spades, 5 of clubs, 4 of diamonds. She's alive, but yeah, she's oh god, bless that baby's heart. Goodness of peace. 
she's mentally entrapped. She has a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression, a lot of depression, and a lot of oppression, a lot of oppression, like spiritual oppression, um, emotional, physical oppression. She's not all there. She's not all there. And it came up earlier that I felt like she had some type of um, uh, DID, dis dis disassociative identity disorder. That's what I'm picking up on. Like she has multiple personality disorder. Um, and so they're having a really hard time working with her or grooming her to be this um, this big pop star. Yeah. Bless her heart. Yeah, y'all, she locked up in some type of mental facility. She, I see her being um, heavily drugged, but also sometimes some of the drugs not working, like she's very resistant to them. So she is aware of what's going on, but she's not aware a lot of mental and emotional distress. A lot of mental and emotional distress. Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness. I don't even know where to, like what can be done to help her? Let me see what can be done to help her. What can we do to help her? What can the public and the public do anything to help her? Had to make sure I was recording. Four, three. What could be done to help her? Nothing. Nothing that the public can do. Wow. Yeah. Seven of hearts, eight of clubs, and a seven. Nothing that the public can do. She needs a magi, you know. She needs a priest, a Ianifa, a Babalawo, a Mambo, a Huga. You know, she need, she need, she need the archangels to come down from the heavens themselves to, to, to deliver her from the hunter's nest. Like she, yeah. Wow. So what we can do collectively, um, you know, I mean, prayer, prayer does help. Prayer, prayer does help. Prayer does work. Um, I don't see the prayer delivering her, but I do see prayer being able to ease whatever state that it is that she, you know, is in to help her better deal with it because, and I'm saying prayer because I'm not, I'm saying like, I'm saying like, there's not much physically that we can do and there's not much physically that we can do because she on paper, you know, they say that she has these different disorders, you know, and that's his adoptive child. So on paper, there's really not much I'm seeing that the public can really advocate for and do. But however, just because I'm not seeing it, that does not mean that still things, you know, cannot happen in a positive manner to um, to help her. But even, you know, if we do get her the help that it is that she needs, she's embedded in this within this organizational framework, like whatever this th this parent company is. Over, you know, the Red Cross, uh, Planned Parenthood, uh, St. Jude, uh, all these other like different, you know, children hospitals, shrine, like, you know, all these different children's hospitals, you know, and different things like that. Um, the, the public can't do nothing. That's like trying to break somebody out of, you know, out of the Scientology cult or something. You know what I'm saying? Like those, like, like stuff like that requires um, divine intervention, like divine intervention to come down from the heavens and rectify a situation like that. And even then, I'm not even going to go into that because I know everybody even, ain't, you know, we really ain't ready for that conversation, but, 
Um, so I'm just going to leave it right here. Um, Godspeed to that baby girl. Goodness of peace. Um, if y'all have any additional questions, put them in the comments below. Um, if y'all want to book a personal reading, the information is also in the description box. Like, good, whew, this, this drained me, you know, like this, the fact that that's her, like that got me stumped. Like the fact that that is actually her, the missing quote unquote girl from San Antonio, like the fact that that is her is out of this world. Whew. I'll talk to y'all later. Have a good one.